please take your shoes off of my granite? That is disgusting. What's disgusting are these furry strawberries you've got in the fridge. Yuckers. Those are meatballs. You know what? I'm still trying to figure out what to get Daddy for his birthday. I got that covered. I went to Daddy's favorite store. Oh, the Apple store? <laughs> the liquor store. I got him a magnum of Mad Dog 2020, <laughs> Fifth of Thunderbird, and check this out. Wait for it. I renewed his subscription to Jet. What? In 3D. I see you, beauty. What kind of cake do you think he would want? Mm. Like a chocolate malted crunch ice cream cake with a stripper in it. That is just straight nasty. No. Your daddy might think that's just nasty, but my daddy will want two scoops <laughs> and a waffle cone. <laughs> I have been sitting here all afternoon working at our family tree on backtoafrica.com. <laughs> Jay-Z just found out that his people used to roam the Sahara Desert. Let me guess, the camel tribe? <laughs> so necessary, Ma. You need to quit. You know what, I'm a little upset that Neff's not gonna be here for the party. Mm. You know she's not gonna miss a hair show. Mm-hmm, and I'm not gonna miss my video chat with my new ATL piece. <laughs> Get it right. Get it tight. Guess who I found? Who? Uncle Jimmy. Uncle Jimmy? Mm -hmm. Oh, my God, Uncle Jimmy, no! Uncle Jimmy who? Daddy's brother, Uncle Jimmy? Oh, you mean the one he calls Satan? <laughs> Uncle Jimmy is not Satan. He and Daddy just, they fell out when we were young. Okay, what's he doing now? I don't know, but he's going to be in town this week, so I decided to invite him to Daddy's Soul Train surprise birthday party so we can all get to know him. That's a bad idea. That's like surprising Rihanna with Chris Brown. <laughs> no. Daddy is going to love this one. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hold on. Get the right? What it do, thickums? Girl, you look better with the lights on. Two pieces of biscuit. Do it. You make me feel so special. When I see you, I'm gonna give you some. Uh, 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 that's the baby, we're not alone. T, you wanna say what's up to my new ATL piece? Hi, Tiana. Hi. Latrell told me all about you. He told me how he's helping you out. Helping me out? Yes, by letting you stay in his house. Oh, did he tell you that? <laughs> you don't have to be ashamed. Hopefully, you'll be around when I come visit this weekend. Oh, one of us will definitely be here. Don't be silly. I'm sure Latrell will give you an extra week to catch up on your delinquent rent. Oh, thank you so much for your support. Thanks for letting me stay in your house, Latrell. Huh? Oh, stay where? You said too much. You said a little too much there. You said a little too much there. Nope. Latrell, huh? that is not going to happen. <laughs> where did you even meet her? On cybermag.com.org backslash thick. <laughs> Y'all ain't gonna make it. But if we make it, then we're gonna get married, have some little Latrells running around here, and I'll move out. I do not want any baby making going on in that room, okay? That room, mm-mm. Your room. Why? Because you got sheets, pillows, plasma, Cali King. Oh, girl, let me call you back. Janet Waxon just rolled up in here. Ah, uh, you know how she thinks she in control. <laughs> I mean, do I have any messages? Um, yes. Oh, where are they? Where what? My messages. Look, you ain't got to get an attitude like that, okay? If you want them, you should have asked for them. I just did. No, you didn't. What you said was, and I quote, do I have any messages? And I said, and I quote, yes. If you wanted them, you should have just asked for them. Be more pacific. <laughs> Whatever. Just leave the messages on my desk, please. Daddy, can we talk? Always. There is no event that comes before my baby girl. Except for lingerie football, the NBA Finals. 
in any episode of The Real Housewives or what? Those bitches are crazy. I've been working on our family tree on this website. Oh, I like that. So what have you found out? One of our ancestors was a bootlegger. Oh, uh, yeah, that was from your mama's side of the family. Well, those people will drink up the Mississippi if you let them. And one of our ancestors was a runaway slave. That's my side. We'll work hard, but not for free. <laughs> and I also found Uncle Jimmy. <clears throat> Did you find Aunt Sissy? You can't miss her. She has a goatee. Daddy, how come we don't know Uncle Jimmy? How come you're still in my office? This is a family business, not a family reunion. But... No buts. Just get your butt out of here. If you want to do some research? And you go find that Indian woman walking around bald because you just need to be the black Rapunzel. <laughs> And my Uncle Jimmy in the flesh. <laughs> it's finally good to catch up with you, nephew. Yeah, man. I'm starting to think you as an urban legend, like Bigfoot or Superhead. <laughs> All the men in the room can pause. Grab your penicillin, because I am bringing some Saturday night fever. <sighs> Not done. Okay. <laughs> so do you, Cleopatra Jones. Uh, yes, that's it. Oh. Where's Adonis? Oh, we had to spend the weekend with his wife. His wife? His cousin. She needs a green card, and we need $10,000. <laughs> now, if you will point me in the direction of some Colt 45 malt liquor, and I hope Billy Dee is pouring. Yes, the drinks are at the bar. Oh, then so am I. <sighs> I'm just gonna walk it. <laughs> Mr. Jones, you and Mr. Jones are definitely brothers. You are looking super fly in this suit. Show you right. <laughs> and uh, you are? Oh, I'm I'm unique. I work for your brother. Oh, what do you do? Oh, I'm Mr. Jones, CDE, Chief Desk Engineer, aka the Gatekeeper. Nobody can get to Mr. Jones without going through me. So you're his secretary. <laughs> scare you, so I figured, you know, in person's the best way. You good? Let's go meet your friends. Okay, but wait, wait, first, uh, you, do you drink? No, I don't drink. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna need one, though. Maybe two. Maybe a step ladder with wheels. <laughs> I'm coming over here. Oh, excuse me. Who is this? I'm his future. Who are you, his past? Oh, <laughs> she didn't. Um, Latrell, I need to talk to you over here. <laughs> Oh, I'll be right back. What? This is, who is that? I mean, what, I'm not woman enough for you now? I mean, look, girl, you are woman enough for me. You are my number one hit. You ain't acting like it. I mean, what? You into six foot, seven foot, eight foot flower? I look like hey. giraffes over there looking all yellow. Hi, you must be Patrice. I am, and you must have paid your rent. Oh, I did. Hey, you know, I need some light bulbs that need fixing. Oh, Latrell did say you were a comedian. What did he say he was? Latrell said... Oh, no, real estate. Mogul. <laughs> Come on, let me show you the rest of the estate. Oh, dear heavens. You are a glamazon. <laughs> Fabian. Patrice. Mm. Hickory dickory dock. You're the mouth and she's the clock. <laughs> <laughs> hey, is this the brick house you were telling me about? Uh, you know, <laughs> you are sure enough my daddy's brother. Surprise! Hey! Yes. There is one more surprise for you. Okay. <laughs> Happy birthday, brother. Hmm. Oh, I get it. I get it. Well, I got a little surprise for all of y'all. I'm out. Peace. T, I told you this was a bad idea. <laughs>